Hi, this is Barry here. So, what are some ways to find out what people want to read on your blog? Now, you can take this advice for blogging, you can take it for social media, podcasts, or whatever. So, for example, if we just have a look at it through the lens of blogging for a moment. Now, if you were maybe to create a blog on a topic that no one has ever written content about before, sometimes you will need to throw content out there and you need to have a look at what gets popular and what doesn't get read. And then if you find that some pieces of content are more popular than others, well then you would need to focus on those popular topics. But how many of us are going to be creating content on a topic that has never been written about before? Probably zero. And because of that, before you actually start creating your own content, have a look and see what other people are talking about on other blogs. So in my own case, if I was going to do this, I would have a look at some of the other blogs in my niche. I would have a look. You will find sometimes in the blogs, sometimes those blog owners will very helpfully put a sidebar and maybe give you a menu of the most popular blog posts. So again, what I would do is I would get a notepad, a piece of paper, and I'd start writing down what the most popular topics are on the blog. I'd also have a look at what are the most commented on blog posts. Because if you find a lot of people commenting on a blog post, sometimes maybe, you know, congratulating the, the writer or maybe arguing with them or maybe having a differing opinion, well, that could be good content that you could create for your blog. So those are the two things I would have a look at on a blog is what's popular and what people are talking about. Now, say, for example, maybe there, nobody is has a blog on the topic that you would like to write about. Again, what I would do is I'd go over to YouTube, have a look and see what people are creating content on YouTube. Again, write down some topics of what are the most popular videos on YouTube. And again, if you want to read some of the comments below those videos to give you an idea of what people think of the content, how it could be improved, or maybe if they have a different opinion than what's mentioned in the video. Again, another thing I would do is go to Amazon because you will probably find that people have written books on the topic. Again, what you can do is you can have a look uh, sometimes inside the, blue, the books. If you click on the click or look inside feature, what you can do is you can open the book, you can read the first maybe two or three pages and you will find sometimes you can actually get into the table of contents. So again, I'd have a look at the table of contents. What are the authors writing about in those books? Because if those authors are actually writing about those kind of subject matter in the book, well, there's a good reason why they're putting it in there. They must think it's, you know, is information that the, the reader needs to know about. It's probably questions that the reader probably routinely asks. And if it's in the book, well, then there's a good chance that you probably should be putting that content on your blog as well. Now, again, another thing you could do is go to a website called Answer the Public, put in your main keyword term, and then do a search to see what people are actually asking on Google and all the different search engines about that term. You will find that site will give you a load of questions that people are asking. So when it comes to blogging, people usually come to blogs for probably for two reasons. One, they want to be educated and sometimes they want to be entertained. So if you provide a lot of kind of educational content where you're answering frequently asked questions, beginner questions, intermediate questions, expert questions, you're going to cover all those things. You can't really go wrong with kind of question and answer content because that is what a lot of people are coming to blogs to find out about. Again, you could maybe put in some kind of entertaining, entertaining content as well too. You will probably find maybe some people are, you know, creating entertain, entertaining content on that topic, maybe on TikTok, again, YouTube or things like that. So you could maybe borrow some of the ideas in those pieces of content and again, bring it back to your blog. So that is basically what I would do. Have a look at other blogs. Have a look at uh, YouTube. Have a look at Amazon. Go to the site Answer Answer the Public. And again, maybe go to maybe TikTok and places like that. And if you go around to all those different places, you will have more than enough ideas to, you know, to put on your blog. And again, to pay attention to not only what other people are doing, but how your readers are interacting with your content. You know, what is starting to rise to the top? What seems popular? What are people putting comments on? What content is being shared on social media from your platform? And again, when you find out what's popular, what you simply do is you just give them more of that popular content and that will, again, help your readers. Take more readers to your site and will grow your readership. So those are the things I would do to find out before I start what type of content I should be putting on my blog. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.